What you'll need to make this is some rubbing alcohol, some empty glass bottles, we found ours at the thrift store, and magnets, water, and ferrofluid. Now I'll include a link to where you can get ferrofluid below, but it is actually pretty inexpensive and easy to get. I went ahead and put on some gloves just because I didn't want the ferrofluid to get all over. It really stains um, clothes and skin, so be warned if you're going to use that. And then I filled my bottle up with half rubbing alcohol and half water. And then I used an eyedropper just to squirt in just some of the ferrofluid. I actually didn't use very much. Then all you need to do is put on the cap and if you're giving it to children I might seal the cap that way they can't open it and dump it everywhere. But this is a great gift for really anybody um, young and old. I think it would be a really cool gift for like a dad um, for like in his office on his desk just something to kind of play around with. Making your own butter is super easy. All you need is heavy whipping cream and a mason jar with a lid. Then you just pour some cream into the mason jar and close the lid. And then just shake it. This is a really good activity for little kids. You shake it and shake it and shake it. Set a timer for 15 minutes and then just keep shaking. After 15 minutes of shaking, you will end up with butter. All you need to do is separate the buttermilk from the butter and voila! This is a really good time to add any like spices or herbs to create a compound butter, which is actually what we gave our friends and family last year for Christmas. This is super fun for bath time. All you need is cornstarch, olive oil, a liquid soap, we used um, shampoo, and food coloring if you want. We ended up not using it and kept ours pink. Then you're going to add half a cup of cornstarch, three tablespoons of olive oil, and a quarter cup of your liquid soap and mix it up until you get the consistency that you like. I ended up having, add, having to add a little bit more cornstarch to get the consistency that we wanted. Then you have Play-Doh that you can play with in the bath and get clean. And when it gets wet, it gets you know, slippery and slimy and makes it a lot of fun, a great sensory activity. Package this up in a cute little package and this would be a perfect gift for any child, especially toddlers. What you need to make these are Crisco, crayons, some containers, I found these cute little teacups at the thrift store, and then you need wicks. So first glue your wicks into the bottom of your container, and then add the shortening to a container that you can microwave. And after you microwave the shortening, it'll melt. Then add your crayon in whatever color you want and mix it up. This is where I talked about how crayons melt slower than the shortening and why that happens. And then once your crayon is completely dissolved in the shortening, you're ready for your candle. All you do is pour it in your container and you have a candle. Just wait for it to harden. This would be a great gift for anyone, but I can see pairing it with some bath bombs for a spa-like experience. What you need is essential oils, whatever ones you like, baking soda, citric acid, Epsom salt, a spray bottle with water, cornstarch, and you can put these in the center of the balls to make a fun surprise for the kids. Add half a cup of citric acid, one cup of baking soda, three quarters of a cup of cornstarch, one quarter of a cup of Epsom salt, 
and a few drops of your favorite essential oil. Then spray with a water bottle to dampen it. You don't want to add too much water because that's what creates the chemical reaction. So add just enough until you can get it to form a, a shape. Put those little things in the center for the surprise and you have bath bombs. This is a great gift around the holidays. What you'll need to make fun bouncy balls is borax, cornstarch, two cups, some Elmer's glue, a stick to stir, and food coloring. In the first cup, I have two tablespoons of water and a half a teaspoon of borax, and I mixed it until it was dissolved. Then in the other cup, I have one tablespoon of glue, some food coloring, and half a tablespoon of cornstarch, and I mixed that up. Then I added the first cup to the second cup, waited about 30 seconds so the chemical reaction would take place, and then mixed it up until I couldn't mix it anymore, and it created like a slime, kind of like the slime, and then I formed it into a ball to make a bouncy ball. And it bounced really well. And in fact, out of all of these, this is the one my son played with the longest. He thought that this one was just so much fun. All you need to make cloud soap is ivory soap bar and a microwave. Just put the ivory soap bar in the microwave and watch it expand. This happens because ivory soap has lots of little air bubbles in them and when it goes in the microwave the heat expands the air bubbles. I can see packaging this up as just a whole piece of cloud soap for a really neat gift. What you need to make magnetic slime are a few cups, borax, iron filings, Elmer's glue, and some stirring sticks and water. In the first cup, I have a tablespoon of borax and water. In the second cup, I dumped the whole bottle of Elmer's glue and then filled the Elmer's glue bottle with a little bit of water and then dumped it back in. And then I slowly added the first cup to the second cup to create slime. Once I've created the slime, I add the iron filings and then kind of knead it in. And there you have it, magnetic slime. Wouldn't this be a fun gift to give someone? What you need is olive oil, cornstarch, flour, salt, water, food coloring, alum, and essential oil. Add two cups of water in a pan and wait for it to boil. Once it starts boiling, you can add two cups of flour, half a cup of cornstarch, one cup of salt, and one tablespoon of alma alum and two tablespoons of vegetable or olive oil and then you knead the dough it's still hot so be careful and then what I did was I separated it into four balls that way I could have four different colors and then you just knead the color in there are so many different homemade play-doh recipes this is our favorite and the one that we gave last year to all of our friends for Christmas. It lasts a really long time and has a really great Play-Doh texture. Plus, it smells like my kindergarten class, so I think that maybe my kindergarten teacher used it. Anyway, then I put some of our favorite essential oils in and knead that and we have Play-Doh. What you need is olive oil, hot water, sugar, 
flour, some rapid rise yeast, salt, and of course, a bag. I apologize for the camera angle, but what you're gonna need to do is put one cup of flour in your bag, one packet of rapid rise yeast, three tablespoons of white sugar, and a cup of warm water. And then you mix it up and let it set for 10 minutes. Then after it's set, you can add three tablespoons of olive oil and one cup of flour and a little dash of salt. And then you mix it up again. And once it's all mixed, you open it up and add one more cup of flour and then keep mixing. Once you think you've mixed it good enough, you can then start kneading it. And you'll need to knead it for eight minutes. Once you've kneaded it, set it in a loaf pan and put a towel over top of it. Let it rise for 45 to 60 minutes. Then bake it in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes. Pair it with the homemade butter you made and you have a great gift anyone would love. If you try any of these, I would love to hear about it. Let me know. Thank you.